Don't You is actually the current single out there on the radio right now, and it's been a really cool thing to be able to go out to shows now and see all these people, you know, I could put the microphone out at the crowd and they're singing it back, you know, know what you're doing, baby, don't you, don't you? I don't even have to say don't you, they just say it for me. And I love that, I always dreamed to have that feeling of, of people knowing your song, you know, knowing every word of your song, a song that I wrote with just two other guys in a room that we made up one day. And the way Don't You came about was me and the band were playing at a show in, I think it was Wisconsin, at a summer festival. And I saw a girl out in the crowd. The whole band just kept talking about this girl. And she, whatever she was doing, whether she was flipping her hair, winking, or whatever it was, everybody just couldn't stop talking about that girl. And uh, we got we got off the stage and got in the bus and went home. Uh, and four days later, I was still thinking about that girl. I never met her or anything. And this, I wanted to write a song about how girls play those those tricky little tricks. Guys play tricks, you know, too. We play little mind games, but not the same way. We're not near as good at it. But uh, I've just always noticed how girls are, are so good at that. And it's the thing of, you know, the thing that they know what they're doing, but they act like they don't know what they're doing. And it's kind of like this whole, how do, how do I get into their mind and figure out what's going on? You never quite figure it out. But I felt, I felt like Don't You, you know, was my best interpretation of how those tricky games work and how we'll never figure it out. <laughs>